Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is an introduction to database management systems and the storing of data. If you're new here to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I make content to help you on your QA and automation journey. Now back to the video. Most, if not all companies, use databases in one way or another. Databases are a way for you to store information for your company. With it, you can do a lot of valuable things, but we'll get to that more later. A database management system, or DBMS, is a software used to create and manage databases. A database management system basically serves as an interface or a middle person between an end user, which is you, and your database. In a database management system, you can create, store, retrieve, and run queries on a database and all the information in it. Using a database management system not only allows you the ability to interact with your data, but also helps to provide data security, integrity, and uniform procedures. And from now on, I'm referring to database management systems just as DBMS, which is a lot easier to keep saying throughout the video. And you might think to yourself, why do we even need a database in a database management system? Why can't I just use an Excel sheet? As you get more information for your company or your needs, it's a lot harder and a lot less efficient to aggregate through and to search through a bunch of Excel files. When you can just write a simple SQL query and get all the information you want. DBMS also serves as an efficient handler to balance the needs of multiple applications using the same data. So sometimes if two different applications are trying to access an Excel file, it may cause corrupt data because it's not built to handle that. This video will introduce you to the four major types of DBMS. Relational database management system, hierarchical database management system, object-oriented database management system, and network database management system. So first, relational database management system, or RDBMS. First off, this is the most popular type of database management system, because relational databases are the most popular type of database. So it just makes sense. It is also linked to SQL, which everyone in the world knows how to use. So in relational database management systems or just relational databases in general, you have a system where the data is organized into 2D tables, where you have columns and rows. Each table in your relational database management system must have a primary key. This helps with data integrity and normalizations and making sure you have unique values and not redundant data in your tables. Relational database management systems are ideal if you need a scalable and flexible database management system. Popular examples include MySQL, SQL Server, and Oracle Database. In this example of a relational database management system table, we have a student table. In it, we have three columns, STDID, which is student ID, which is also our primary key, and then name and city. Remember that the primary key is a way to uniquely identify each row in the table. Next up, the hierarchical database management system. This database management system has databases that organize information in a tree-like form. It is represented by using a parent-child relationship. The storage of data is either bottom-up or top-down. In it, the data elements have a one-to-many relationship. So one data element can be related to multiple other elements. In this example, we have a parent, college. From there, it has three children, students, teachers, and admins. From there, the child knows student, then has three more children, role number, name, and age. Next up, object-oriented database management systems. This database management system has databases that stores information in a form of objects. As the name states, it is based off of object-oriented programming. So the objects also have members. It stores both data members' values and operations. The members can include methods, properties, and fields. It works in concert with an object-oriented programming language to facilitate the storage, addition, and retrieval of object-oriented data. And last but not least, network database management systems. 
This database management system is based off of the network data model. It fits the need for more complex relationships by allowing relationships where a child can have multiple parents. It also has a hierarchical structure and is organized like a graph. In this example, we can see that a college has teachers and departments. A teacher can teach multiple departments. Because of this, we see that some parent teachers have a relationship to multiple shared child departments. And that's it for your intro to database management systems. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you need help on your QA journey, check out my book, Must Know QA Vocabulary, available on Amazon. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or suggestions for future topics, please leave them below. And most importantly, don't forget to learn something new today.